In this video, I will share how to interface uh, LCD with the 8051 uh, microcontroller. Okay. Uh, this is the program uh, I have for uh, uh, I think it's LCD interfacing. Okay, I just copy the program code. Uh, I will uh, uh, share the drive link uh, for this program in the description uh, tab. You can go to the description and download the code. Okay. Uh, this, I just copied the program code for LCD interfacing. First thing you will need to do here is go to the Keen software. Go to the Keen software. Open the window. In that you will first first and foremost thing that is a create a X file. Now to create a X file, we need a Keen software. We have the program. In order to simulate and to create X file, first you need to go to project, create and uh, choose new microvision project. Go to project, choose new new vision project. And desktop, go to desktop and go to the key folder and uh, view the name for your file. Okay, choose LCD. I gave the name for my file project as LCD. In the, uh, if you give the name, this will show one the window. Select device for target one. Choose the device. AT89 uh, C51. Choose the, this one. AT89 uh, C51. Click OK. And uh, click one more time. Yes. Then yes. Okay. Then go to the file. Create new. This will open one new window. And in, the, in this window, we will going to type some programs. I already have program. I copied the program and I paste it here. Okay. Then next step is to save the program. Uh, click save here. And uh, give the file name for your program. LC dot asm this is the extension we will use to, to store program for lc use the file name then dot asm click save then go to the target one extend the folder and uh, click source group one right click the source group one add existing file to group click lcd dot asm okay and then click add Close the window. Uh, to click add, this will load, this will upload the uh, assembly language code for LCD inside the source code form folder. Okay, then go to uh, this icon, option for target. In that, choose uh, Ethernet clock frequency as 11.059. Choose output as, uh, go to the output the tab. Choose create X file. Okay, X file is much important when you go for 40 years. That X file you will need to load it. Uh, we must need to load in 40 years to run program for LC. Okay, then go to device tab, choose AT18 C file. It will automatically choose. Just click OK. Then uh, go to the left hand side top corner, translate. First click translate. Uh, this will debug the errors. If no errors means this will show zero errors, zero warnings. Then click build. Zero errors, three warnings. There is no problem for warnings. Just check only the errors. And I click rebuild. Third icon. Uh, zero errors, three warnings. So after uh, doing the translate, build, and rebuild, you will get your X file for your program. Let's see. In the desktop. In desktop, we created your folder. Key. Inside the key, we stored we stored our program LC. In that uh, key folder, we have the object folder. In, inside the object folder, we, we have the X file for LC. See here. This is the X file. Uh, just refer the type X file. We have the LC. So this is the X file for our program LC. This, this is a mission understandable code. This code we used in ProTS to run uh, to interface LCD. To display some characters. Now X file is created. Now we will need to go to Proteus. Proteus to connect uh, LCD with the controller. 
to uh, display some data. In the program, I mentioned the strings. That means the uh, data I want to display. SRM University. That uh, data will be displayed in NC. Now we will see how to uh, use Proteus to connect the controller with NC to display the string SRM University in NC. Go to the new project. After opening the Proteus, this will show this window. Click new project. And I give the name for your file. Name as LCD I gave. I give. Already have LCD inside the name LCD. I click LCD here. Click next. 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 Uh, choose create firmware project. This is important. Choose family as 8051. Controller as 80C51. Okay, we have control of the C0C51. Click next. Then finish. If you follow this procedure, uh, this will show the A0C51 controller. Okay, don't use source code. Go to the schematic capture on left hand side top part. Click schematic capture. This will show the uh, A0C51 controller. We will need to connect uh, LC okay, uh, to display some characters. Now to load the LCD uh, peripheral, go to the left hand side, here we have the devices, no? In the devices choose path, here the path and logic, choose path here, and uh, choose 16 plus 4, otherwise uh, LCD. In the LCD, uh, if you type LCD in the keyword, this will display different devices. Choose LCD 16 plus 2. Okay, choose LCD 16 plus 2. And click OK. And then the LCD 16 plus 2 is already in the device folder. Just click the icon and uh, paste it in. Paste it. Okay. Then um connect all the components on the one. So here here uh, VSS is the uh, ground pin. Okay, VDD supply pin. First we will need to uh, input the ground pin. Now to input the ground pin, go to the left hand side this one terminal mode click terminal mode choose ground and then click click it here and connect the vss pin to ground and apply the power power click power and uh, paste it here apply the power to vdd and uh, simply you will be there is no need to connect any any of the uh, any of this one just leave be as it is then we will need to connect to the register select pin register select pin of sorry uh, just quickly delete it Click the one more time and paste it here. Connect to power. Okay, and the uh, uh, register select the pin of the LCD to the this is not uh, register select pin. There is some problem here. Register select port uh, 
put a 1.5 to the register select pin of LCD. Yeah. Then port 1.6 pin of microcontroller port. Port 1.6 pin of the uh, microcontroller to the read rate pin of read rate pin of the LC. Then connect port 1.7. Sorry. Enable pin of LCD. Enable pin of the LCD. Then connect all the data pins D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7, D8. Uh, port 2.0 to port 2.7. Totally, we have 8 uh, port 8 pins in the controller. Connect all the pins to the data pin of the LCDs. And port 2.2 and D2 pin of LCDs. And then port two point seven pin two D seven pin now and C. So the connection is finished. Uh, now we 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 need, we need to do the X file for uh, uh, LCD display. Uh, hope you know you remember. In case software after simulation, we got the X file. That X file is available in the desktop. Object folder inside the key folder we have the object folder inside the object folder we have the x file for LC that x file we will need to load in the controller so just double click the controller go to the desktop I created one key, the key uh, folder inside the key folder go to object folder and choose the x file for LC I loaded the x file and click OK then start your simulation in the bottom we have the start run the simulation icon just click run This once again, I already created one LCD uh, uh, CD file, and I will cross verify it. Okay.
here uh, don't choose ncd 16 cross 2 choose uh, instead you can choose lm 6 go to the path choose lm 6 l choose this one 16 cross 2 alpha numerical c don't choose the previous one i explain choose go to the keyword path <coughs> choose lm 6 l and uh, open the file click it and paste it you will get uh, this icon yeah and connect uh, the same thing what i explained okay. and double click the uh, controller and load the experiment go to desktop and uh, click go to key go to object folder load the experiment and click ok just run the simulation you will get the display srm space university Okay, connect the connections like this. Use A0651 LM016 LM016 You want to understand how to uh, work with LCD. And if you have any queries, kindly post your comments in the chat box.